This girl wanted to play soccer with the boys so badly, but the coach forbids girls on the team. She then transformed herself into a boy, but I'm not sure if that's possible, though. Do you think she will get caught? We'll figure out what happened next in our recap of the movie. She's the man. Enjoy. The main character's name is Viola, and she loves playing soccer. She's also dating the captain of the school team, Justin. What a life. However, there is a problem. The coach forbids the girls to play soccer with the boys. He claims that they are too weak for that. Justin agrees with the coach, which makes Viola really mad. She definitely breaks up with her boyfriend and goes home in a terrible mood. Her mother presents Viola with a gorgeous lace dress, but she can't stand any of this girlish stuff. She goes upstairs and complains about her bitter life to her twin brother, Sebastian. This guy is a real slacker. He wants to quit another school and escape to London for a music festival with his band. Sebastian asks his sister to cover his back by calling the principal behalf of his parents. But Viola has another plan. She is going to visit her brother's school and pretend to be Sebastian. No one has ever seen Sebastian there. And that means no one will notice the switch. Thanks to this, Viola will be able to play soccer with the boys and even outplay them. A stylist named Paul decides to help her a fake mustache, a beard. Men's habits, she uses absolutely everything. Her ample bosom is tightened with bandages, and all the girly stuff is hidden as deeply as possible. Viola lies to her mother, saying she's planning to stay with her father for a few weeks, and then goes to Illyria Sebastian's new school. She gets out of the car pretending to be a boy, and she actually looks like one. Yet Viola is so scared that she's ready to run away at any minute. Paul convinces her to take the chance and pushes her out of the car. The frightened girl Paris to the dormitory. Where a crowd of guys lives, she struggles to get to her room and meet her new roommates introducing herself as Sebastian. Her roommate's name is Duke, and he's a rather good-looking guy. Viola rushes to the soccer field she has to qualify for the local team. The coach demands the voice to take off their shirts, and Viola frightenedly makes up a story about being allergic to the sun they start training. And this is when our girl shows everything she's capable of. The soccer ball literally flows under her feet. The only problem for Viola is doing push-ups, so she ends up on the second team, which is the bench. A frustrated Viola finds herself in the man's showers. Oops, luckily she is urgently called to the principal's office, who is examining Sebastian's file, and wishes the student well in his new school on her way out of the office. Viola bumps into Samagra, and she looks it up to the boy with great interest. Viola goes to lunch in the school cafeteria and sits down at a table with Chuck and his friends, that's when the very blonde that has been recently locked down shows up her name is Olivia, and it turns out that all the guys are crazy about her, even the handsome Duke at night. Viola sneaks into the school showers and starts undressing, excited to finally be alone. Suddenly some guy shows up there, his name is Malcolm, and he braids Viola for not having slippers. Then Duke comes in and hits the nerd with a towel while the girl runs out of the showers at night. Viola has a nightmare about a terrible soccer match in which opponents beat each other up. She is wearing a pink lace dress and the coach makes her play like that. No wonder she can't score a goal. Everyone points and laughs at her. What a shame Viola wakes up to someone pouring water on her. The girl is grabbed by a crowd of guys in masks who take her to an unknown place. She and several other newcomers are forced to undress. Viola manages to get out of the crowd and sets off the fire alarm she is saved. But now everyone thinks Sebastian is a freak and a loser. It is urgent to save the reputation. Paul asks his beautiful girlfriend to confess her love to Sebastian and say that she misses him very much. The other students in the cafeteria don't understand what's going on, and then another girl shows up, the scene repeats one more time, and the guys at the table are shocked it turns out that Sebastian is a real lady killer. Suddenly a third girl shows up at the cafe, but here's the problem. It's Monique, the real girl of the real Sebastian. Viola desperately hides her face and tells Sebastian's girlfriend a lot of insults, which makes the offended Monique run away. The guys immediately invite Viola, aka Sebastian, to that table. From now on, he is the local star adored by all the girls and anime leader by older guys. The beauty Olivia comes to one of the classes. She has to work with Viola, and they find a lot in common with each other after the lesson Viola gets grabbed by Juke who asks for help in conquering Olivia's heart. He promises to make Sebastian a member of the main soccer team. Viola agrees the daily exhausting training session begins. Viola trains even at night a specialist, since that is the only time when she can take a shower so no one would see her. Definitely it brings good results. Viola is getting stronger and stronger. She also gets a chance to look at the naked guys in the shower every day, particularly she likes looking at Duke. Meanwhile, Malcolm, who is in love with Olivia, decides to spy on Sebastian, hoping to find some dirt on him. Sebastian, or more precisely, Viola tries to set Olivia up with the Duke. But here's the problem, the cute blondie seems to be in love with Sebastian himself. What a love triangle one night, Viola is giving Duke advice about girls, and suddenly a tarantula appears in their room. It's Malcolm's recently lost pet Duke, and Viola jump on their bed in terror. 
They are both afraid of spiders. At one point, they even start cuddling. Wow, what a story a Junior League carnival is about to take place the next day. And Viola has to be there. However, Sebastian is supposed to be there too. So how will the girl get out of this one? Now we'll see as the day comes. Viola is disguised as Sebastian, accompanied by Juke and his friends. She meets Olivia, and all the boys are invited to the kissing booth. Suddenly, Monique appears, and Viola hides in one of the toilets there. Do you want to see part two of this amazing recap? Comment yes, film reel. And I will see you at part two. Thanks for watching.